Now, you normally don't need a reason to know why Hawaii. Yo, 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 it's Manny Covington, and welcome back to another video. Now, this video is going to be a video that I talked about that I was going to do in my last video. How many times am I going to say video? But this is going to be about the trip that I booked using both the Southwest card and some other cards and points that I've accumulated. I would say guess where I'm going down in the comments below, but the place where I'm going is already in the title and probably the thumbnail, so it wouldn't be that hard of a guess. If you're interested to see how I booked this trip to Hawaii for free, make sure to like this video and let's get into it. So let's go into why Hawaii. Now, you normally don't need a reason to know why Hawaii. But just for a little bit of context, I'm currently studying for the CPA right now, and I plan to take the test sometime in March. And as a kind of a study break slash little relaxation period, I decided to take a Fortnite trip to Hawaii, specifically Honolulu. Now this is gonna be my first time going and I'm super excited for this trip and it's even better when it's free. So let's talk cost, or in this case, miles. Now starting off with the flights, I am taking two Southwest trips one Hawaiian Airlines trip and one American Airlines trip. And funnily enough, the Hawaiian Airlines portion of the trip isn't going to Hawaii, but we'll get into that later. So the first trip I'm taking is actually a positioning flight to LAX because flying from the East Coast directly to Honolulu just didn't work out in terms of the points and miles and the flights. So I'm taking a flight from BWI to LAX via MDW, and that portion is going to be on Southwest Airlines as well as the next portion of this trip. Now at the time of the booking, that flight cost $204.98 and cost 13,959 Southwest points. So subtracting the $5.60, I'm left with the 1.43 cents per point for that Southwest flight. And I'll put the total amount of points that I used and the total cent per points value at the end of the video. So now the fun part, flying from LAX to Honolulu. Now this is a nonstop flight and this flight cost $158.50 which honestly, for the time that I'm going, definitely wasn't too bad. I'd even consider it a steal. And that flight also cost $11,306 in miles. So I decided to use miles for all the flights and all the hotels booked in this trip. So subtracting the $5.60, you get a cent per point value of 1.35 cents per point. Now, if you watch my last video, you know that Southwest points are usually worth around 1.4 cents per point. So you may be wondering why I decided to redeem points instead of using my travel credit. Well, I'm saving up my travel credit for another trip. It would only cost 11,000 points in general. Honestly, I'd rather just use the points and save the flight credit for later. So now we're in Hawaii. What do the hotels look like? So for one night, I'm staying at the Hyatt Regency Waikiki Beach Resort and Spa. Now for the night that I'm going, it costs $418.83 or 20,000 Hyatt points. Now Hyatt still has an award chart, which makes it very easy to get outsized value from Hyatt stays. And one of the reasons why I love having Chase cards, because you can transfer Chase Ultimate Rewards points out to Hyatt points for a one-to-one -one ratio. For example, 20,000 points could normally be redeemed for $200 cash back, but by transferring out to Hyatt, you could get a value of $418.83, just for an example. But I actually didn't have to transfer out any Chase Ultimate Rewards points because I still had high points in my account from a canceled stay previously. So I just used 20,000 of those points to book this hotel. So for the next three nights of my stay, I'm staying at Hilton Hawaiian Village Waikiki Beach Resort. Now, this costs a total of 140,000 Hilton points. Plus, I'm using a free night certificate that I got from holding the Hilton Aspire card. If you want to see me apply for that card, I'll leave a video up here. And in total for the two nights day, which I used the points for, it would cost $1,471.22, leaving me with a cent per point value of 1.05 cents per point. Now with many travel bloggers using a range of 0.6 to 0.8 cents per point for value, getting over one cents per point with Hilton points is a really good redemption, especially when Hilton points are so easy to come by, especially if you have one of the Hilton cards. And because this is a resort, I'm able to use the $250 resort fee credit that comes on the Hilton Aspire card, and I'll be able to use that for dining experiences as long as I charge it to my room. And pro tip, you can use this credit for the room rate as well. But since I'm using points, I'll be using it for dining. And the night that I'm using the free certificate for cost $467.64. So just by using the free night certificate that comes with the card alone, I got more value by using the free night certificate over the annual fee. And that's not even counting the other perks and other benefits of this card that I've used. Like Hilton Diamond Status, which will allow me to get an upgrade to a preferred room if available, late checkout, and a food and beverage credit that goes on top of the resort credit. Now, unfortunately, the Hawaii stay is going to have to come to an end. So what do my flights back look like? 
So I'm actually flying Hawaiian out of Hawaii, which I tried to make it so that I could fly Hawaiian into Hawaii so that I could see what the experience would be like flying both Hawaiian Airlines and flying it into Hawaii, but the dates just didn't work out. So this flight retailed for $232.50, but I booked through the Chase Travel Portal and redeemed 18,600 Chase UR points for a simple point value of 1.25 cents per point. I was able to get 1.25 cents per point because I have the Chase Sapphire Preferred. And that gives a 25% boost when redeeming travel through the Chase Travel Portal, which I take advantage of here. And if you have the big brother, the Chase Sapphire Reserve, you can get a 50% travel boost, meaning that you would get 1.5 cents per point when booking travel using the Chase Travel Portal and redeeming your points for it. And finally, my flight home from LAX. I'm flying American economy this time, but that flight only cost 15,000 miles, while the retail price of it was $386.60. So subtracting the $5.60 of fees, it came out to an astounding 2.54 cents per point value. So all in all, I'm happy with my redemption values that I got from the flight and the hotels. So let's see what the total simper points are and the total costs in terms of the points used. So I used 25,265 Southwest miles, 18,600 Chase UR points, 15,000 American Airlines miles, and $16.80 in fees. So the total simper point value for the flights came out to 1.64 cents per point. Considering that that's close to $1,000 worth of flights, I'm very happy with how the redemption turned out. And it's worth even more on the hotel side. So for the hotel side, I used 20,000 Hyatt points, 140,000 Hilton points, and one free night certificate. And that cents per point value came out to 1.18 cents per point. Now, considering I'm getting over $2,200 worth of hotel stays, combining that with the close to $1,000 of flights, I'm pretty much getting a over $3,000 vacation in Hawaii for $16.80. That's amazing. And I'm super excited for the trip. Let me know down in the comments below if you want to see reviews of the flights and the hotels. If you want to see what to do in Honolulu, let me know down in the comments below. And I like making these videos and also watching other people make these videos because it shows that with just a little bit of planning and a little bit of strategy, you can take these trips too. Now, I'm not going to be able to drop $3,000 for a four night stay just at the drop of a dime, but this vacation is possible because of points and miles, and it can be possible for you too. So let me know what you guys think of this redemption down in the comments below. If you stayed at any of these properties or flown Hawaiian Airlines, also let me know your experience. I'm excited to experience that. And if you wanna see me talk about the Southwest car that made it possible, click this video here. And thank you guys again for watching. Until next time, peace.